Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the 2023 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss with that Duramax diesel under the hood. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what makes this one so special. Stay tuned. All right, gearheads, before we get started, I do wanna say a huge thank you to Grant Goats for pulling this one for me here at Pelche Chevrolet in Tyler, Texas. If you are in the East Texas area and looking for this truck, hit up Pelche Chevrolet, tell them Corey sent you. But I promised you showing you off what makes this one so special. So not only is this one in this sand dune color that I really love, not only is it the trail boss, but as you can see right there, it has the three liter baby Duramax diesel under the hood. Let's see if I can do this one handed while filming. And ah, yes I can. So there we have it. The three liter inline six Duramax diesel from Chevrolet put in the Trail Boss. And for 2023, they have given this 10% more horsepower and 7.6% more torque. Meaning this is the torquiest engine that you can get in a 1500 from a Chevrolet. This does make 305 horsepower and 495 pound feet of torque, mated to a 10 speed automatic. We'll check out that payload sticker in the door jam in just a little bit, but I will say I am very impressed. When we walked up to this one, it was already running and I can barely tell it, but uh, we'll let you listen to it here in just a little bit. Closing the hood, we get the new updated look for what was 2022, but now here in 2023. So we get the updated front end. No longer do you have those jowls down the side. You get a much more cleaned up look up front. Looks a little more like the Tahoe and Suburban of which it shares a lot of similarities. But being that this one is a trail boss, you do get the ZR2 style blacked element on the hood here it is just tacked on i don't know if i absolutely love that but it is a nice touch to break up all of this sand dune color that is on this one i really like it especially with all the black being that this one is a trail boss model it is one of the most capable off-road versions you can get you know i already tested the zr2 when i was in la earlier this year I will link to that video just so you can check that one out. It truly was a blast. I really love that one, but this is the more everyday off-road version. I think competition would be the F-150 Trimmer and the Ram 1500 Rebel. That's really more what this Trail Boss is going after. It comes with skid plates. It comes with downhill descent control, those wheels and tires, uh, the red tow hooks, because you had to have red tow hooks. But yes, very, very nice pickup truck here. We do get LED headlights, LED turn signals and running lights, LED fog lights that are turned off right now. But up underneath there, you do, like I said, get skid plates and the like up front. If this were the ZR2, we would have a hollow bow tie here called the flow tie to give more cooling to the engine back behind there. But not so on this one. Because this is the diesel version, we've got the built-in plug up front for the engine block heater. I really like that Chevy is building that in to the front, integrating that so that you don't have to have a wire hanging out of your grill if you are needing to warm that block up in colder climates. Not really a problem here in Texas because, well, it is already winter here and I am looking, it is actually 71 degrees as I record this. So nice warm day here in, in East Texas winter. Moving along to the side, we get that Z71 badge on the front fender, just to let everyone know you do have the off-road version. And back on the back, you've got the Trail Boss decal. So just to let everyone know, you've got the off-roady version. And if you couldn't tell already from the lifted, uh, lifted ride height and these Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires and these blacked out wheels, yes, this is the off-road version. Very nice, very aggressive tread pattern. And if we pop back behind here, you can see we've actually got Rancho shocks and an improved off-road suspension. So that also comes with the Trail Boss version. I really like, again, we've got a lot of black 
contrast here on the side from the door panel or door handles the mirror cap that hood the wheels very nice contrasting look here on this sand dune model i can't say it really does hide dirt very well i'm gonna actually bring you in closer here just to see this paint you can see there is a lot of dirt on it i am just on the lot picking up vehicles as i can get them and yeah this one hides dirt very well it is not a metallic paint job so even when it's dirty it still has a nice sheen to it does a good job of showing off i really like it a lot then moving back here to the back chevy has made the back steps in the bumper larger over the outgoing model so you can see plenty of room to get your foot in here nice little hand hold up here to climb up and get into the bed and because these steps are on the side of the tailgate if you do have the powerful deployable tailgate down this one is so well damped it barely goes down on its own i'm sure that will change with time but you can see nice slow tailgate even with it down i can use that step and get in very nicely very easy to get into the back of this truck that's chevy's approach to the tailgate wars you can get the multi-flex tailgate again like i tested on the zr2 earlier this year where you have a tailgate within the tailgate that gives you a step and there's a handle on the side i really think this is the best option really less complex and oh my goodness oh so light like literally lift it with one finger and close it very light and i like how you get this stamped chevrolet in the back uh you don't get that on the multi-flex you get again the black bow tie in the middle moving over to the side here we get led tail lights and turn signals really like that one a lot and then again going with the contrast black and that sand dune color black bumper back here on the back you do get the dual outlet exhaust even on this duramax diesel version and yes i've heard these called the uh, forklift receiver slots but you know it is what you make of it but moving around here to the side very classy look very timeless design uh, for this truck very corporate look though so you do get a lot of uh, swooping lines here on the body side just to break up the slab sided nature of a pickup truck but why don't we move inside and see what this one is like on the interior before we hop inside i did want to show you the key typical chevy key i do like it's got a little bit of texture here but on it you've got lock unlock remote start and the power tailgate drop button so see it worked a little bit better this time around really like that you can drop the tailgate from the key fob makes it very easy to get into the back but you can see again very easy to close up those rear reverse lights do come on just give you a little light when you're back there in the back locking it is very easy from the key fob or coming up to the handle here so you can see only on the front two doors not on the back two doors you get chevy's passive entry there really isn't a pad on the back here you can just unlock or lock but i want to unlock and climb inside you can see the updated interior for the 2023 models this is on the lts and above and when you close the door you can see you get a nice animation across both screens here letting you know you are in the trail boss model but because we are in the diesel let's fire it up and see what it sounds like you can see those beeps and chimes are really louder than oh my goodness louder than the diesel is when you climb inside so not a very loud clattery diesel engine but i'll give it a little bit of a rev yeah not a lot but let's go outside and see what that sounds like before we get too far inside and yeah i mean you can tell it's a diesel walking around it it's not just overly loud and clattery but you can tell it's no v8 but it is again more powerful than the v8 and coming back here to the back yeah, if you're back here it's very quiet back here but let's hop inside and go over the rest of the interior close the door here so we've got a color screen up here 
and a color screen over here. One of the largest in the industry. Chevy is going wide with their screens in their pickup truck, so it's over 13 inches wide. Very nice layout here. I do go in more detail on my ZR2 video, so I highly encourage you go check that out if you want to know more about the interior of this Trail Boss. But I will go ahead and show you by putting it into reverse. You've got a backup camera only on this model, no 360 camera. Again, we are in the LT Trail Boss, not the custom Trail Boss. You can get uh, more cameras if you option it up, but this one just has that backup camera. It does a good job of showing you what's behind you. There are trailering modes. This Google designed system is very easy, but it does uh, go well with Apple CarPlay. So you can see you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as options here. And then you can do a lot of different things with this side panel right here and a lot of quick access buttons right here. Very good readout here in the gauge cluster. There's your tech and that shows you what drive mode you're in and we are in two wheel drive. Then your speedo over here, you get a digital speedometer, your posted uh, speed limit here and your trip information. You can control all of that here with uh, the right side of the steering wheel, shows you your tire pressures, all that. There's a lot of really good information here in this one, including your def. So that is something you will have to take into consideration uh, if you buy this diesel version and then a blank page, just if you don't want to see anything there. I do like how when you choose speed, it doesn't duplicate the speed up above, but I do find that a little bit of a waste there not having that. Moving over to the left side, you've got your four wheel drive control. So you have four high, four low, two high and auto, and then your drive modes. So you can go into off road, normal, off-road, normal, that's all you get here in the Trail Boss. And then there is a trailer button if you're gonna do some trailering. Your light controls, your uh, jellyfish launcher, I mean your rear cab light back there. There is LED lighting back in the bed that you can access back there as well. And then your brightness control. Lock, unlock, automatic windows, automatic up, down for the driver, and just the driver, power down for all the rest. A lot of storage, you've got a nice cubby hole here, but two cup holders built into the side. Very nice there. Moving along here, because we are in a $60,000 version here, there are some blank panels and this very wide button here to kind of hide some of the non-chosen options on this version. You can see lane keep, your automatic start stop uh, for the engine, your tailgate drop button, so you can drop the tailgate from up here, hazards, traction control, and downhill descent control. Again. Nothing here on these two. You can option that up to have a full bank of buttons right there. Heated and uh, heated seats and seat back. So seat cushion and seat back. You can heat whatever you want there, whether it's just a seat back if you have a sore back or the seat bottom. No ventilated seats here on these cloth seats. USB-A and USB-C up here. Automatic dual zone climate, really like that. Nice storage here, storage here, cup holder, storage here. Qi wireless charger that I will say I really like the placement of, and it is large enough for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Not a flex, just showing you how large it is, but you can see it is not currently charging. So you had to put it in here just right. It is not my favorite system when it comes to operation. That honor goes to the Cadillac Escalade. And then over here we have dual glove boxes. That is very aggressive when it opens, but it gives you a little bit of storage in there. And then your typical standard glove box down there. A little fake wood there on the side, up here on the dash, over here on the center console, a little bit of storage here on the side. And then a nice cloth seats here in this version. At 60,000 though, I don't know. Would, would I be happy with cloth? I'm not sure. It's a really good cloth. It's durable. I feel it'll last you a long time. Opening up the center console, you've got this divider here that you can put a lot of stuff in, or you can hang hanging file folders in here from the same two points. A lot of options for power in here. You get USB-A and USB-C. Let me make sure I put that back in there right. And you do have a three-prong household style plug in there as well. So plenty of storage in there. And you can see still good access to the phone. This does have a power driver seat, but no memory settings, but I've got it about where I would have it for me at 510. 
And because this version does not have a sunroof, I've got a lot of headroom uh, in this version. There is a cutout where the sunroof would be. You can see that. It just gives you even more room up above you. Lots of room in this pickup truck. No one really complains about interior space, especially on crew cab trucks. And this is why there's quite a bit of space in here. But let's open the doors here and go around to the back seat. Let's see, I locked myself out of one earlier. So yeah, uh, we can climb in to the back seat here, hop up into it. Again, this does have an increased ride height. So it is a hop up, but oh my goodness, plenty of room behind myself at 5'10", plenty of room for three actual adults all the way across here. A mostly flat load floor. There is just a little bit of a bump right here in the center, but for all intents and purposes, it is a flat load floor. But yes, plenty of room, mat pocket here, mat pocket here, two cup holders on the back of the center console, which on this cloth seated version comes in handy because there is no fold down center armrest. If you did get the upgraded back seat, you would get a fold down center armrest and hidden storage in both of the outboard seat backs that opens from the side and allows you to get in there. This does have a 60-40 split bit rear seat that makes it very easy to fold up and fold down. One-handed operation, no levers, no latches, nothing needed. You can flip and fold it very easy, which gives you a lot of storage space underneath. If you're wondering what's in that bag, that is the cable for the engine block heater. That was the first telltale sign when I opened up the cabin uh, that we had a Duramax in this version. But yes, very comfortable back seat, even as thin as the seat bottoms are, which is good when you've got them folded up because they don't take up a lot of room. They're very comfortable. So I'm surprised that even with as thin as they are, they are very comfortable. There is a nice pitch to the seat back back here. I know the Ram 1500 top trims have a reclining uh, rear seat, but this is a very comfortable rear seat. And again, tons of headroom back here. Lots, lots of room in this one. I do have the solid rear window. I don't have the power sliding rear window on this one. So not a whole lot to talk about back here. You know, power window switches, door handle, and then more of that fake wood. I do like the grab handles back here that are very easy to grab onto. Chevy puts them at all four doors. You can see they are on the A pillars up front as well. So uh, getting in and climbing into this truck is very easy no matter where you are going. And like I said, there's plenty of room for three real life adults back here in the back. I'm not driving this one today because I am here at Pelche Chevrolet just grabbing some vehicles on the lot to give you a tour of here on the channel. If you want to see what we are touring and checking out next, be sure and hit all those buttons down below, whether it's follow, subscribe, ring the bell, whatever you have to do to make sure you are notified every time we drop new content because we're going to be dropping a lot of new content this month, so you'll want to follow along. Again, huge thanks to Pelche Chevrolet here in Tyler, Texas. You can find us and everything that we do on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can head out over to gtgaragetalk.com. If you want to see me actually drive one of these with a diesel, be sure and leave me a comment down below. Let, let me know you want to see me drive one and review one, and we'll talk to Chevy and get one for a week where not only will I test it, but we will put my wife Holly behind the wheel and we will do a full child seat installation with Tucker's car seat back here in the back. You know, our full battery of tests, but I need you to leave a comment that you want to see that, and uh, we will reach out to Chevy and make that happen. Until next time, gearheads. Bye.